Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Carle slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's eastern cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Ah, India, Mumbai. I'm not wrong, it is India, Mumbai. Also, this is the weirdest starting ever for 47 I've ever seen. Like, it doesn't suit him. I don't like it. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. I don't think 47 is, looks that obvious, you know? I don't think he's that assassin looking. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. Right. Well, we don't need to do that because I remember the barber shop, which is somewhere. We can open that up and lure him there because when it opens, he'll run towards it. Then we can just identify him. Greetings, sir. Oh, hello. Uh, wait up, uh, who are you? Oh, come on. Oh, for God's sake. I've, oh. It's a shame. This is the barber shop, though. I've just stumbled upon. You need to open the shop. There are people waiting outside already. I, I, I can't remember what he looks like. The guy the crows wanted me to provide information to, you know, their boss. They showed me his picture in their hideout two days ago. But I was so stressed out. I thought they were going to kill me or something. I, I can't remember his face. What if he shows up and, and I miss him? Look, then you should go and explain it to them. They probably still have the picture there. What if they hurt me? What will happen to you? Or if they decide to burn down the shop like they did with that other guy with the metal recycling? I won't do it. Pave, I told you we would get into trouble with this snitching business. But you had to go and earn some easy money sharing information with the gangs. This is your mess. You fix it. Right. So the barber's there. Now, there's a picture in their hideout which we can use. Now, I just... Oh, it's just, I don't care. I've already been spotted. Right, let's head over to their hideout so we can 
get this get this photo. Ooh, secret tunnel, secret tunnel. Yes, one of you come here, and I can hopefully just bring you down. Yeah. Perfect. A photograph and a note addressed to Sagar the barber. This looks like a very recent picture of the maelstrom. With this in hand, picking him out in a crowd should be possible. Barber's taken down. Now, now that we're, you're going to recognize your husband, obviously. Barber, yes, finally. You right. have no idea how important this shave is to me. Thank you. I'm afraid not, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Any of you the maelstrom? No luck. Nope. No luck. No. Nope. Forty-seven. That man by the counter. You're up, That's sir. That's the mail. Thank you, my friend. That looks like our patient. Come on, then. How about you invite him in for a close shave? Of course. Please, sir, have a seat. All right, I'm ready for my shave. Make it a close one. <laughs> Funny. The tides are changing, my friend. Can you feel it in the air? My bones are creaking with joy at the prospect of what is about to happen. I don't feel anything, I'm afraid. You will, friend. Ooh. Boom. This maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Thank you. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. Sorry, closed. No more. <laughs> I'm retiring. I hate hair. Now, at Darwood Rangan, there's somebody around here in the slums who's from the set. If we could get him, we can get him, like, to cooperate. I think we could stand next to him and we can, I don't know, kill him in some way. Hmm. Vanya Shah? What's Vanya Shah wanting with his? I'm not here. Ooh. Okay, well, we might be going after Vanya Shah because I'm guessing if we can take you out, we can get close to her. Which will be. Oh, God. No, you don't. Well, I'm, I'm a barber. Yes. Go investigate that, sir. Don't come in here, please. Disguise as a tailor. Right. Oh, God. Uh. Oh. Oh dear, oh my, oh my lord. Ah, it's you. Did you bring Hello. the cloth for Miss Shah? I'm afraid your honest look isn't going to cut it here. Oh, the cloth. Oh, damn, do I need to bring a ah, it's you. fabric? Did you bring the cloth for Miss Shah? Let's see what you have in your pockets today. No, I must have forgotten it. Well then, run along and get it. Miss oh. Shah wants to see it for herself. Oh, okay, so I have to get... Oh, there's the cloth there. Just gonna run in. That's not the, the cloth. Where's the cloth? Oh, and, oh, wait. That guy. There's a guy who's selling cloth. Do I need to buy it? No. Oh, the... Wait, there's two tailors. Wait, the tailor's got his outfit back. That's interesting. Just round. Round anywhere. Cloth shop. Cloth man. Let's... Um, what colour? I think it should like red. I'd like to buy coin like oh, I don't wanna steal it. Don't mind me. Just uh whip boom. Thank you. Come again. Wait, I stole that and you told me to come again. That's confusing. Did you bring the cloth for Miss Shah? Yes. D yes, I did. Okay, you're good to go. It's giving the tailor just a taste of his own medicine, really. Hello, Your Majesty. Ma Ma Your Majesty? Your Majesty? Oh, for God's sake. Don't tell you I have to go back for him. Oh, great. Oh, and a he's gone. Hey! 
Hey! Can you go back over there so I can talk to you again? Oh, you're not gonna move, are you? Do I have to go... Oh, I'm gonna have to go back in, aren't I? Oh, have I... Has, has the game broke? It is the Royal Taylor account. Oh, it actually worked. Let's have a look at the cloth you've chosen. How may this I want to you? make sure the color is the right one. Yes, of course. Here it is. You fool! I asked for Cerulean. Are you deliberately trying to present your plan? Oh dear. Don't answer me. Just go fetch what I'm asking for. But I had to steal from... Ah, oh, for God's sake. I had to steal from this. I made 47 into a criminal. Soon enough, this this guy, this cloth seller, is not going to have much to sell. How much of these? Ah, you're back. After stealing. Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now, we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running meter? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? Nothing? Ah, I can see you're a man of refined taste and a skilled haggler. My kids will only eat rice tonight, but it's yours for 105 rupees then. It's a deal, yes? No. Wow, those eyes are really burning into me, sir. Like you're just looking straight into my soul. Okay, final offer now. 90 rupees. 90 rupees per running meter. That's my own cost. I, I really can't go lower. It's there. Ah, Have it. Good, good. Great. Thank you. Come again. Hello again. Third time. This time wasn't my fault. Beep, 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 the tailor again. Hello, you meant. The elusive dealer. Here at last. I trust you brought the right bundle of cloth this time, dealer. Yes. That's what you wanted. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements one day. There we are, private audience with um, with the, with, the, with the queen. What harm could a tailor do? Why are you suspicious of me? I'm a tailor, I'm not even her personal tailor. I'm just a tailor. Leave us. I want some privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. You didn't bring a tape. I'm pretty certain one of the other tailors left theirs behind. You can use that. No, 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 no. Now let's get you measured. Relax your back, please, Miss Sharp. Hmm, interesting. I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Sharp. Hmm, interesting. Turn around, please, Miss Sharp. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. Why are you just there? Please go away. You've probably heard about the other day. How some of them ended up in the gutters because they didn't please me. This dress is important to me. Well, not the dress itself, but what it represents. You see, there are those out there who do not want to pay tribute to their queen. People who think the value of their lives can be measured in money. It started with one man, but these things spread like ripples in the water. Soon another, then a third. Tributes to your queen keep you alive, not money. <laughs> Eventually, I will find a craftsman who understands the true value of life. Is that man you, I wonder? That's all I need, Miss Shah. I'm done here. Excellent work. See yourself out. Your queen has other business to attend to. I'm sure she does. Sorry. Confirmed kill on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. I'm just gonna leave. Dress wouldn't fit. Cloth not big enough. I've got to run home. Ah, you made it out alive. I was getting ready to dispose of another dead body. Hmm. Well, you might have to. <laughs> right. Let's head round here. Let's head to Darwood Rankin's tower. Now, as I was saying earlier, there is a um. A member from the set somewhere around here, but um, I don't know where to find him. Dum dee dum, mmm, lovely meat. 
and fish. Dum de dum de dum. Wow, you're you look cool. It's a guy with wings. He's got fake wings on. Where is he? Hey, what's up? You know, just running in circles. Anybody here got wings? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> oh, dumpty dumpty dum. Oh, you have cloth too. Not really. Wait, no, that, that's the other guy. Anywhere. If we can't find this guy, we can always just go up and find another way. He just doesn't exist. I'm convinced. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna find him. So I think we're just gonna head to the tower and do a sneak in. Oh, here he! <laughs> Never mind, I found him. Here he is. Oh dear, he's looking pretty ill. I'll just put you here. Oh god! Oh god, are you coming in here? Oh god! We finally got this guy. Let's head up to the tower. Hello, everybody. I'm back on set. Hello. I'm here. Huh. Excellent. Even this I means we can get on with it. Good. Good. Yes. Right. Go get down with Rangan. I don't know what we rehearsed earlier. I can't remember. Oh, you got the wings the same as me. Why are yours bigger? Yours are bigger than mine. I got, got two sets of twins here. It's unbelievable. How's everyone? Ready for the photo shoot? Yes. I know I am, so let's do this. What about me? Where do you go, Mister? Folks, let's all get into position for the big photo, shall we? All right. You all look great. Yes. Focus on me now. So, Miss <laughs> Hassan, I guess you're ready for another round of. Mumbai hero soon. I've got big plans for a sequel. Hmm? Big plans. <coughs> I'm sure you do. I think you will need to talk to my agent about that. Ah, agents. I never did like them. Deco, I prefer the more direct approach. Acha. Well, I'm hopefully kicking off some international roles soon. So, my availability may be limited. I see. Well, I certainly hope nothing should happen that would prevent you from pursuing your goals. Miss Hassan. Great work. Now, if we could do a few shots of just Mr. Arthur and Miss Hassan, please. Arthur and Hassan? As if they're that important. I'd suggest we do another round of solo shots of the guy who gets first billing. Me. <laughs> if you say so, Mr. Lundgren. <laughs> I do, I do say so. Come, come. Shoot. Oh, Gregory, stick around, huh? I want to talk to you when I'm done here. Oh, okay. Oh, well, maybe this way is good. Huh? The women really like this pose. All right, when I is put it? up this look, all housewives in a two-mile radius will faint automatically. Beautiful, <laughs> Mr. Rangan. That's a wrap then. 
Champagne for everyone. Woo! This was un. None of us look happy. It's wrap on the film, and none of us are happy. Carol, great things will come from this movie, guys. Let me tell you, I've got a feeling that this one is the one that will make me famous. You know, it just goes to show that hard work and dedication is what is needed in this business, yeah. Yes, indeed. Mr. Rangan, you wanted to see me. Ah, Gregory, yes, yes. Come with me upstairs. I have something important to talk to you about. Okay. Gregory, Gregory, as you know, there's a lot at stake with a production like this. Hmm? Everyone needs to play ball. We're on the same team after all. But it's important to establish a pecking order. Hmm. Soon all of Mumbai will be mine. I'm sure you can imagine what that means. Probably not. How long will Mumbai be, be yours? I just need my friend here to pat you down. Don't want any recording devices or things like that accidentally going off. Looking hmm? good. I'm I need sure to pat you, you down if you want to proceed. Oh, I've just. It's a good job I've left my guns behind then. Feels good, huh? Bet it does, pretty boy. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. More bodyguards have joined us. I don't like this. Oh dear. This is where everything right, goes Greg, wrong. Here's the deal. And don't interrupt me, alright? I hate being interrupted. You're a smart guy, I know that. Big deal back in America. But the thing is, I don't like you. I don't like the way you dress. The way you behave yourself around the women on set. Or the way you try to steal... Uh-oh. I'm willing to overlook all of this, Gregory, because we can make great things together. However, and this is very important, if you ever try to take my place... If you ever think you can become bigger than Daud Rangan, you're in for a world of hurt. I will destroy you and your family. Your mother, your friends, your pets, anyone and everyone will die. Do as I tell you, and I can make you more famous than you've ever dreamed of. Cross me, and you're dead. Understood? I think I understand. Excellent. In that case, we're done here. Yeah. Darwood Rangan is confirmed killed. Wasn't me. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. Ah, crap. So is that? No, he isn't. Ah. Oh. No, it wasn't. How? Right. Don't come in here. Just run. Oh, let me out. Just running, just running, just running. God, that went that went so bad at the end there. Uh, it was the only thing I could do. But at least we killed them. Ah, oh, good God. Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. It looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. You came home. I knew you would. You've come a long way, forty seven. And even now, you don't remember. 
this place. This was our prison. Where father trained us, shaped us into killers for providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact. You and I. Do this. We both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down.